Hi, I'm Nico. I'm the engineering team lead for the script runner for Jira Cloud team behind Happy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rewrite an existing script using as much Happy as possible while retaining the parts of it that aren't covered by Happy yet. Happy is script runner's groovy based API for doing common tasks in Jira like managing issues and projects, updating fields, searching for issues, and much more in an easier and faster way. Happy is written in Groovy and works equally well with new scripts and existing ones, which I'm about to show you right now. All right, let's look at the code. Here we are at the script console and we're looking into one of the script runner example scripts. The script searches for issues via jQuery query and then archives them if they match a criteria. With Happy, we cannot archive issues yet, but we can optimize the search part to make it neater and more readable. Let's start rewriting this script. So the first thing we do is we define our query. We're going to leave this because it's going to come handy. Next step is we make a request to Atlassian's API to search by a JQL query. After that, we validate the response was correct and we extract the body. With Happy, we can make all that code much simpler. So we're going to remove that code and we're going to use Happy's convenience class for working with issues. And on there, there's a search method. So Happy's convenience class for working with, with issues is called issues. And in here we can say search. Now the code editor already suggests the method and I can look for what else is possible. If I want to dismiss this, I can press escape or click away. And if I want to get it back, I can press control space. And if I press control space again, I'm going to get additional information with the Java doc of this method. In here, I can see the parameters and I can see the return type. So let's search and we'll pass the existing JQL query. Okay, the result of this is going to be a list of issues. Let's reuse the search results variable. All right, next step is we iterate over all the issues, archive them and collect the issues we archived. We'll change the code as follows. So first of all, we're going to modify how we iterate over these issues. We now have a list of issue objects and not maps, so we'll remove that part. The other thing I want to change here is how we iterate. We can use Groovy's collect method that will give us a, a collection as a result of our iteration. So we no longer have to de do this clunky pushing uh, into the list. So we'll remove that, we'll reuse the variable. Okay, now at this point, we are still not collecting a result. We'll have to return that from the iteration. So I'll go at the end and return the issue key. All right, let's recap what we did. We're starting with the same input query and we're finishing with the same result. In between, we've refactored the code to be much more readable, easier to understand and easier to maintain going forward. Adding Happy to the script has made it much neater and easier to understand. You can find out more about Happy by visiting ScriptRunner's documentation website where you can find more details on how it works and what else is possible. You can also find useful links to our Java docs and some more examples. Thank you for watching and happy coding.